Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. We're gonna continue with our grease pencil explorations. So last time we have this grease pencil circle to star set up. It's a little bit long, but if you wanna grab just the the geese, you can just copy copy that address and then paste it into Spreadshop. So just copy the one below. That's I think the simplified version. And now jump to Spreadshop. Just paste it into the GIS ID here and then import. You should get the the setup with the stars. Delete everything and let's see. I think there's okay, there's always this kind of a red kind of a error. You you basically need like a grease pencil data in order for this to work and then just update it twice and then you get the result okay save this this is the star gp to uh, handwriting so let's do something that's uh, a little bit unusual so on top of uh, our current grease pencil so current grease pencil is actually drawing this uh, stars shapes kind of uh, procedurally so we can we can randomize it and scale the positions so that's not very very interesting but if you want to do some kind of like a, like a cursive um, drawing using grease pencil you can do that um, as well actually so currently we have only one layer of grease pencil and all this node set up let's make another layer so in the second layer I want to actually uh, draw something let's go to the frame the same frame as the star let's write like a blend for example and I will use a cursive and for this one I'll just using a single stroke so there's a blend and this guy have uh, this guy have a feel, but really we don't need to see the feel for now. I think grease pencil is actually very very efficient for strokes. Feel is something that's kind of um, can be useful on top of the the strokes, and you can kind of kind of uh, draw the feel using strokes. If you are if you ever use like a two D animation tool such as Macromedia Flash or Adobe Flash in the past you probably get used to using um, kind of like a vector drawing for the shapes um, and it has the strokes and shapes grease pencils is kind of doing that as well but we can think of it like grease pencil is best as uh, just a, to think of it like a strokes and you can draw in 3d not just 2d not like not just like flat but anyhow, um, let's actually go back to Square Chalk here and use the object ID selector. Let's grab this guy once again. Oh, actually, it's keep getting the fill because uh, because of this uh, color fill alpha. I think set to set to one. So I'll just turn it off for now. I'm gonna grab. The grease pencil data from the other one so grease pencil this is the uh, we have layer one and layer two layer two is if we look at it you see the viewer draw with the pass points turned on we can actually see the the points being drawn and the nice thing about this is we can simply output this guy but we don't want to do that. We want to use the the grease the other grease pencil. What I mean is, we get the grease pencil information, uh, which is our handwriting, and we can grab the point position. That means we can simply pipe it in, just pass it in into into our star setup. Plug that in there and we are actually kind of done let me check um, okay by now we actually want to see the we want to see the fill 
turn off our hand drawing and turn on the fill and with our star drawing let's make it a little bit smaller like that between 0 0.1 and 2 and then let's increase the number so it depending on our strokes and writing get it from the top so this is our random position with list split oh yeah I forgot something we need to use list split as well for our data so this is this is the grease pencil with a uh, with the points being displayed I forgot to split it there you go that's working nicely now how many points do we need it's depending on the strokes itself if we check the the length and use the stethoscope we can see the number 327 so that's 327 we didn't do any kind of interpolations so it, this is like the whole strokes being generated on the fly probably at this stage we don't need to see these guys so we just need to pipe in our second grease pencil data So maybe it's a good idea if we use a list length to check the number of points from the second grease pencil, plug it into our total number. So now if we if we work on the second layer of grease pencil and then maybe make another cursive, maybe in this case I'll make like a spiral, or oh, we can't see it. There you go, that's a spiral. Um, I'll reduce the, the fill alpha. So now we can see the strokes. Don't worry about the fill on this guy. And update it, we should have our spiral thing. And we can continue and let's say, say hello or hi update it oh okay the second strokes doesn't work but that's a uh, probably um, the limitations at the moment if we can any single stroke should work like that we can write uh, maybe sushi I'm trying to write with cursive kind of like a script writing it's actually it's a good skill to have to be able to write cursive so let's suppose you you make something right like I don't know I'll just use spiral for now you make a spiral and you can create the star what if you wanna what if you wanna export this out uh, what you gonna do uh, maybe you want to do more with it currently it's just a grease pencil of course you can always go back to stretch up setup here and then instead of outputting the data as grease pencil which is what we are doing here with the grease pencil you can simply pipe it this uh, the coordinates into something like the polyline viewer this will work you just need to ensure that maybe you want to close it um, let me try pipe it in and look at it you actually have a result already maybe increase the radius there we go that's actually a real object see it's very very simple and but you have a lot of objects if you wanna put it into a single object you just uh, select single here and try again check it out so now it is a single object 
Um, you have to, of course need to deal with um, color and then if you wanna if you want these shapes to be instead of the strokes outlines and you want like a real objects like uh, 2d objects you can you can do that as well so yeah but but see dealing with curves it's uh it's not always like straightforward like if the curve is actually overlapping you might get like something like this so be careful with that grease pencil grease pencil is as simple as, as it is but once you start you want to convert it into real mesh you have to think about all this these conversions sometimes the data is not uh, not 100 percent perfect for 3d creations um okay so what else we can do here okay um with our drawing here we can actually resemble it you, you already know how to do this so just use a vector interpolation i want to just show you again um, use range float value between 0 and 1 just resample this guy and pipe it in there and pipe it in there and now we have a resample really nice resample of our spiral because they are all nicely arranged and very clean we can have like 150 of them something like that very nice file save as so resample is very very important i do that many many times now but that should be clear so this is the integer value piping there so you see like for the last uh, three or four live noting we start from a circle turning it into a star and then the star it becomes like a we have like like a method to generate this using this is actually grease pencil of course and it's a grease pencil drawing you can render it out and you can also turn it into a mesh so yeah lots of lots of interesting thing happening there maybe actually too much um, I'll just gonna delete this polyline viewer keep it simple we just gonna deal with grease pencil for now okay so yeah that's pretty much it for this uh, live noting. It's a uh, very very basic. Um, just turning one grease pencil shapes into uh, like instancing for another grease pencil. Uh, hopefully you like this, and I'll see you in the next video. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you.